Welcome to the tension test using the Shimatsu. First, we need to power up the system. During this experiment, one person needs to man the emergency stop button at all times. If the tension jaws are not already installed, watch the tension jaw installation video. Now we need to start the computer and open the test software. Now we click Select Method and Test. This will bring up a list of files for us to choose from. We select the file Aero 357 Aluminum Tense with Extensometer Template TC. Now we locate the extensometer and connect it. These are the ports we will be using on the extensometer measurement device. The pin connection only needs to be screwed lightly in place. Now we turn the power on to the extensometer. Our next step involves measuring our specimen. The important measurements involved are the thickness and the width at the smallest section of the dog bone. If you are unfamiliar with using calipers, there is a video available. Now we will input our measurements obtained into the software, click on Specimen Size. For the gauge length, since we are using the extensometer, it will be 2 inches. Now we will go about calibrating the machine. To do so, we click System, press Start, Force Execution should pop up, and press Start again. This process takes a moment, please be patient. Once the process is completed, force execution will show up on the screen. Simply press the test button. Now we install the dog bone in the jaws. We place the specimen in the upper jaws first, aligning it correctly so it's perpendicular to the face of the jaw. The top of the sample should roughly align with a scribe in the jaw face. After aligned, we tighten the upper jaw. This process is much more easily completed with two students. Now that the upper jaw is secure, we need to jog the machine down so we can secure the lower jaw. To do so, we click Jog On Off, High Speed, and press the Down button. Again, the specimen should align with a scribe in the face of the jaw. After we are done jogging the head, we press the jog on and off and high speed off. We now zero the machine on the control panel using the force zero and the stroke zero. This step is important to measure the preload. We now tighten the lower jaws, preloading the specimen. Now that our specimen is preloaded, we can attach the extensometer. We attach the extensometer to the 2 inch section in between the jaws. Now we can pull the pin on the extensometer and set it aside. To perform the experiment, the shield needs to be engaged fully in its downward position. At this point we will zero the extensometer on the ESA and also within the software by right-clicking on the extensometer and going to zero. We are now ready to begin our tests by clicking Start Test and Start Test Again. As the test proceeds, the software will plot a stress versus strain curve. During the test, the e-stop button should be used any time a concern arises regarding the safety of the students or equipment, or if testing proceeds in an unexpected manner. We will now
now export the data for further analysis. To do so, we will click File, Export, Raw Data. We now name the file and save it to a place that can be retrieved easily. We now begin the teardown process. First we raise the shield. Next we remove the extensometer being very careful as it does not have its pin in at the moment. Our next step involves untightening the jaws and removing our used specimen. Thank you for watching the tension tests using the Shimatsu. Tear down as your instructor requires.